And we're back with another Pico CTF challenge, this time WebNet0. Forensics category, we found this packet capture and key, recover the flag. Hints, try using a tool like Wireshark and how can you decrypt the TLS stream? I've already gone ahead and I grabbed both of these and I put them on the desktop. So let's open this up in Wireshark like they suggest. Don't worry about that error. And I already have a video where I went into depth on how to work with visualize Wireshark. So if you find this overwhelming, go to that. I'll put a link above to it. One of the things I always like to do is I like to get a high level understanding of what's going on in a PCAP. So I'm going to do that with the statistics. I'm going to look first and we see we've got 39 packets over the course of about a second. So a pretty small capture. We have a conversation, one conversation going over IPv4. Same two hosts in the TCP conversation. And then in the protocol hierarchy, we can see that almost everything is encrypted. 79% of the bytes that were sent. And we expect this because they gave us a key and they mentioned TLS and that is exactly what's happening. So they're true to their word. And if we were to look at some of the TCP streams that have been encrypted, they would be impossible to follow. They look like gibberish, I'll show you. Uh, you can't see a little bit in some of these cases, but uh, trust me, there's nothing, nothing substantial that you can get at. So what we need to do is we need to use our key, and the way that we'll go about that is by going Edit, Preferences, Protocols, and then TLS, and the RSA keys list, and we'll add... I've been learning this myself. I don't think the IP actually matters. So I'm just going with 0.0.0.0, which is typically uh, all interfaces. 443 is the HTTPS port, and we can see it in use. If we go back here and we look, the destination port is 443. The protocol is HTTP. It's a little counterintuitive, but that's what Wireshark is going to want because it is HTTP, it just happens to be going over TLS, if that makes any more sense. Let's navigate to our key on our desktop. We've got the Pico Pico key. We'll open it up. We'll say OK. And then here's the real test of whether this worked. When we go under statistics and we look at the protocol hierarchy, what we should see is we see into the TLS layer versus we were stuck before at this level and we couldn't see anything else. Now we can see that there's HTTP that's being sent across. There's line-based text data. So this is much better. We can see inside. Let's apply as a filter HTTP. And you can see in the background this updated. Let's follow the HTTP stream and look from the top. We can see we have a GET that's coming across the wire. And we have a 200 OK. And as we go down, we have a Pico flag, which is a header that they added with Pico CTF, no shim, shrimp crackers. So let's go ahead and let's submit that. And there we go.